Hey everyone, how are you? It's 420, back to the J. And today we're going to make some really good meatballs to go with our meat sauce. So believe it or not, I was on the internet today and I was watching um, Jenny Jones. She actually has a cooking show. And so I was watching Jenny Jones today and she did something very, I was like, wow, something that I want to do. What Jenny Jones did was, hold on, I gotta get my grinder dolly. So let me give you, oh, let me give you the, the, the vision of the crock pot. What's going on in this crock pot, you guys? Um, I have a, what do you call it? Pot roast. We have a pot roast, and the pot roast right now is definitely um, on low cooking, okay? Yeah, very, very low, because the way I like things is just to be slow cooked. That's the way I like them. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking out some bread, okay? Because she was like, you really want to get the bread that doesn't have... You know, you want to toast the bread and whatever. She's like, because when it's freshly toasted, it tastes better. And I'm like, okay. And yes, darlings, I am feeling much better. Thank the Lord. And thank my, my husband and my mom and my aunt and you guys, you know what I mean? Have made it much easier for me to be able to... Um, go through this... Uh, change which I was like what okay anyways what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna unstick the bread from my little claw and we're going to dice it up and then so I was like, oh, Jenny Jones. Of course, I remember Jenny Jones from back in the day. <sighs> She's a talk show host, just like Wendy Williams, blah, 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 same thing. Okay, so this is just some hamburger bread that we had, and it was the last one, so I was like, you know what, eh. She was like, you could either grind it, or I was like, ah, whatever. You know, we're just gonna take our time. The sauce is behind me right now, and it's starting to just do its thing, you know, warm up with the meat sauce. So this way, it absorbs nicely. And yes, I've been able to have this bread before and it didn't bother me. It's actually the bread that we got from the barbecue place and that was the last little bit. So I was like, I'll use it in here. Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. So, good things come to those who wait. And then once you make the meatballs, about 20 minutes in the sauce, and it's done. So, like the last 10 minutes, you get your pasta together. You know, put some basil in on the top at the end, you know. But I figured, hey, maybe my viewers would like to just chill with me while I make something different for our family today, me and hubby. Okay, so this way, we've got that together. All right, now, We got some real Parmigiano Reggiano, which is 
always nice inside of the meatballs. We'll get some oregano leaves. Yeah. Right. I'll even put a little bit of turmeric inside, because why not, you know? Poppy, can you hand me some um, garlic powder, please, doll face? No. Uh huh. El ajo, por favor. Y, en mi, y mi agua fría, por favor. Mm. Ajo. Gracias, papi. Water, please, babe. Oh, yes, so you From the other bedroom? No, not yet. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now the garlic. Okay. Egg. Yeah, no. No white stuff from the egg. If it comes in there, just take it white out this way. Thank you, puppy. Here, yeah, darling. <laughs> okay. I take that white stuff out. Okay. Now, she's like, mix all that stuff up. So we have to mix it up. Can you wash me up a, a green bell pepper, please, and slice off half? If you don't mind, darling, please, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
So this is our mixture. And what I'm going to do right now, it's me and my husband. So this is from me, but this is what I used to do for my children, and I just love the way it makes pasta taste. And the meatballs will taste good this way. Add some carrots. You know why? It's good for you. I'm like, throw your veggies inside of your meatballs, inside of whatever, but you got to get your veggies in. Right, Papi? Mm-hmm. Welcome, my new subscribers, the ones that I met on TR Live. Hello, welcome, all of you. Welcome, hello. You'll be my husband in a minute. Let me get my... Oops, sorry, baby. <laughs> yeah, just put it on there, papito, if you don't mind, sweetie pie. Thank you. Thank you. It's only appropriate that you guys actually see my shirt for the way it should be. Latina J. <laughs> okay, bad bitch word, yes. <laughs> TR was like, why don't you change your name? A few people have said it, but it's got a story, and um, it's my survivor story. So it's just one of those names, you know, to stand out. Some people can appreciate it. Like TR can appreciate it. He's like, that's kind of, he's like, maybe if you could just do the BBW. And I'm like, well, it's a little bit more to that. You know? But anyways, like I told TR, he's, I was like, it's a, it's a good uh, icebreaker in the chat. I'm like, I've made friends like that though. TR's cool. I met a uh, TR on Alex Stress Express and Alex Stress Express. I met him on um, Drew's Food Review channel. And Alex Stress Express actually did think I was a troll. Because <laughs> of my name and uh, my and um, Drew was like, no, 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 no. She's cool. She's cool. You know what I mean? I can understand. It's a little... So what I'm going to put here is... Uh, it catches people off guard, but that's fine. I'm going to put some sausage in here. Italian mild sausage. Throw that in there, darlings. Okay. She didn't do that, but that's optional. And so that's what I wanted it to do. Okay. And now I'm going to throw this in here. And we're going to make really good meatballs together and all right now one last thing I like to do is I like to take an orange and I will throw it the juice in here because number one it, it kind of acts like the sugar but it's a natural sugar for me because I do have digestive problems so I uh, do like to put orange inside of my meatballs, meat flavor, meat sauce, you know what I mean? Because if not, then the acidity kills me. And like my baby's um, godfather says, <laughs> His girl that he used to date from Jamaica would put all these nice, delicious oranges and lime in the meat. And I was like, yeah, man, it's good that way. They do it in my country too, you know? So uh, I was like, yeah. I mean, this is not something that, you know what I mean, you have to do, but hey, you want to try something different? You'll be surprised. And it really does just give the nice, um, what do you call it? A spaghetti sauce, a super nice, beautiful taste. Okay? And 
and I used to put sugar in it too, and I love the sugar, but then I, I was like, hey, I get these organic oranges, and I love orange, and so it's, to me, it's a very nice mixture. Different strokes for different folks. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and yes, this one does have seeds, so it's not GMO, thank God. Throw the pulp in there too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not too much, but you know what I mean. Give it that little orange kind of burst. Why not? You know? Fruit is good for you for flavor. Exactly, Papito. Por favor. Si, señor. Now we're going to do our meatballs, babies. <laughs> going to go like this, go like this, go like this. Mm -hmm. And then they will be ready to go into the sauce. Do you want some food? Yes, Dolly, I am. Well, for now, Except that, you know, when I put the, the spaghetti noodles to go, we'll have to use it again, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, we're just going to do the meatballs. And meatballs are great for sandwiches, for soups. I would even put meatballs in chili to make my own thing. Why does it have to be like the rest of the people? That's right. Do your thing. Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the meatballs are going to be like, what? Tina J, you're not letting us see you make the meatballs. I'm so sorry, Kai. Sorry. Yes, Latina J is hooking it up, babies. Because Latina J is making food for today and tomorrow. Don't forget we got this pot roast here, too. That's not going to be ready till later on. And I won't even be able to eat by then. So, But we'll have pot roast for tomorrow. My husband can have pot roast later on. You know what I mean? Yes. I was like, hey, let's get it going, baby. Mama's feeling good. Let's get on this train and make some food. You know what I mean? Some real food. Thank God we went shopping with my son yesterday. Daniel, that was fun. I love him. He's just awesome. So, hope you guys are having a beautiful... What day is it today? Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got the pot roast on low. I was like, let's just do it low. What's the rush? I seared it, you know what I mean? Through carrots and onion, potatoes. Made like a nice sauce for it and boom. Here goes our last one. Oops. Sauce. I did not make my own sauce. 
Jenny did. I was like, well, I kind of made it like before, but then I just added some new stuff. We have classical sauce in here with a nice meat sauce that I made. And now we're just going to um, set our meatballs. And I will show you guys in a minute how they set inside of our sauce. And I was like, hey, Jenny Jones gave me a great idea. What? I mean, there's no need to have to fry them. I love it. Of course, she didn't make as, meatballs, as many meatballs as I did, but hey. If you're going to do it, do it. Well, let me leave some like that and then the other ones will, because I don't want them to all, you know, that, that looks really good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can you guys? Oh my goodness. So, Paul, where's the jar with the rest of the sauce? What's that? Where's the jar to the rest of the sauce? I already, I already added one. Oh, you did that already? Okay. I sure did. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, throw a lid on it and we're going to let it go for a good, I'm going to say 30 minutes. She said 20. I say 30, 35. All right. We'll see you later.